if you want to know how to create your own passport photos or any photo that you want at your home then just keep watching in this video I'll explain how I will create my own passport photo in very simple ways to know how just continue watching tips with Mona. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Mona Abu Fayyad and on this channel I explain some designing and photoshop tricks. Please subscribe, like, share and hit the notifications bell on if you haven't already. But for now, let's jump into screen recording to start this tutorial. Okay, so I'll go to my photo that I just took with my own mobile phone. I'll open with photoshop. Okay, and then I'll create a new image and I'll go to this website and I'll check the requirements of the Emirates ID or passport because I live in the UAE, so I'll use that. They are saying the digital photo size should be 944 pixels and the height 1417. So I'll use these sizes, 944 by 1417, and I'll put the resolution to 600 and I'll hit the create. So now I have this working space for my passport slash ID photo. I'll go to my image and I'll drag it really quick to the new space. Okay, so now I'll control T and I'll adjust it. If you can notice here in the website, they are saying that it must be between 70 to 80% of the photograph from the bottom of the chin to the top of the head. So shoulders are not required to be shown. So, of course, this depends on your passport or the ID that you're creating this photo for. I'll hit OK, and then I don't need these guidelines. OK, I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll check the background. I don't need this background. So I'll go to my magic tool, I'll zoom in, I'll try to select with my magic tool and then we can enhance the selection afterwards. Okay, so now I will enhance the selection with my polygonal lasso tool. So now after I select the background, I'll just go to select inverse and then I'll go to the mask and it will give me a white background. One thing that I want to remind you that in the Emirates ID, you need to show your ears in the new requirements. So that's why I, uh, I made sure that my hair is behind my ears in this photo. You have to check these things for your own country. Also, the background should be white. That's why we just masked the background. Okay, for now, I feel that my photo is a little bit dark. So for that, I'll go to adjustment and select brightness contrast and start playing around with the colors. Okay, so this is the contrast brightness layer that I have added. This is the before, this is the after. If you feel that it's too much, you can simply just drag the opacity to the middle, more or less. Okay, I'll keep it on 45. After that, you can just simply merge all your layers together. For that, you can hit on your keyboard, Control shift e so Control shift e will allow you to merge all your layers without selecting them. Okay, after merging your photo, you will need to print it maybe, or maybe you will just use it online. But if you want to print it, then you will need to take it to the studio to print it. For that, some studios will not allow you to print your image if it's less than eight images. Okay, so for that, let's go to new, print and select an A4 sheet. Okay. 
let's give it 600 we want it to be really high in resolution and hit create okay so this is our a4 photo now let's go to our passport photo and drag it to this new sheet so we can repeat it eight times okay after dragging your photo you will need to give it a frame so when they cut it for you it will be perfectly cutted in a nice way for that i'll just double click my photo layer and then i'll go to stroke I'll select the black color and then make the stroke really thin. You don't need much, just, it's just a guideline. So I'll make it one to the outside, of course. And then I'll zoom in and just select my image and Control J to repeat it. And I'll put them close to each other so when they cut them, it will be easier for them. And I'll keep repeating them eight times minimum. Okay, so now I have eight photos for my passport. You can add more if you want. You can print less if you know that it's allowed for you to print less. But for me, I'll print only eight for my own ID. And that's the result. You can then go to File, Save As, Save on My Computer, select the file that you want to save it on. And then maybe you can use a PDF or JPG. But for me, I'll use PDF. I think it's always a better option, Photoshop PDF. I'll call it ID photos okay save pdf continue and then when you go here this is our pdf with the images so this is the end let me show you the before and after so guys we turn this image that we have right here with the gray background and with the dark lighting into this passport image thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit the notifications bell on. Bye.